Kia ora and welcome to the Get Outdoors field trip. We're here at the Mountain Safety Council and this is Bevan from MSC. So Bevan, you work here in Wellington and it's Get Outdoors week. We're keen to get out and about. Yeah. Where could we go? Well Shelley, there's heaps of great walks around Wellington. So how about we have a look at a map and try and pick something out that will work for us. Sounds like a good starting point. Cool. You've got one here? Yeah, so we've got a topo map here of Wellington. Now, because it's a topo map and it's one to 50,000 metres, it's really hard to get a good sense of the walks. And there's one in, around Mount Vic that I'm really interested in. But I do know that that land's managed by Wellington City Council and they give free public access to the land. Yeah. So let's have a look at their website and find out some more information about that track. Sounds good. Okay. So here we are in the Wellington City Council website. Uh, I've clicked on walks and walkways and I see through here there's a walk Mount Victoria lookout walkway. If I click on that, oh good, it's a walk through pine forests, great views of the harbour and city and it's only minutes away. Uh, there's, it's got a map here too, so we can click on the map and have a closer look. So I can see different trails there. Yeah, there's a bunch of different trails here. Uh, now on this map it's picked out a purple trail and marked that. Uh, and I see on their website that they're saying that there's purple markers along the walk. Right. So it's steep in some places, but it's worth it for the panoramic views. So we just follow the purple, purple markers. We need to think about where we're going to start. Yep. So we could start down here at Oriental Bay, uh, or we can start at the other end, which is in Marjorabank Street. Uh, or we could come and we could, we could drive to the top, and we could start from Mount Victoria Lookout, and then decide which way we want to go from there. So how long is it going to take? Well the website is saying that there's either one and a half hours to walk the full 4.6 kilometre loop. So one and a half hours, that's a good reasonable walk, uh, but we'll want to be prepared for that. Or we can do a shorter 45 minute loop within the town belt if we start at Marjorie Banks Street. Allow extra time if you want to savour the views. Mm. Great, okay. So when we're planning a walk like this, good to have a look online and get some information, have a look at some maps, consider how long it's going to take. What are some other important things that we need to think about before we actually undertake the walk? Well, first of all, we want to know for any land we're going on to that we've got permission to go there. So the good thing about city council land and dock land is it's always open. But if we needed to cross some private landowners uh, field or something, then we want to check first that it's okay to go there. Yep. Uh, similarly, we want to think about, well, what's the weather going to do? And what stuff are we going to need to take with us to make sure we're going to have a great time while we're out there? Mm. And I'm pleased that I'm, I'm going with you because I haven't been there before, so it's always good to go on these kind of things with someone else if you haven't. Um, been to the area before you don't know much about it and in a moment we're going to head to the dock office Department of Conservation to see what the weather's doing current conditions on the track and then we'll have a look at, at what to take but looking forward to it thanks Bevan. Perfect looking forward to the walk today Shelley.